hi guys welcome back to my channel so today we are going to continue in the series that I started a few weeks ago which was speaking about what are some of the key essential items you need in your home uh, which will provide meaningful engagement to your children according to age groups uh, yeah so I started with infants and today I'm going to be talking about toddlers now depending on where in the world you are the age range may differ but here in Canada toddlers are between the ages of 18 months to two and a half years old I know in the States um, toddlers begin at 12 months but here in Canada toddlers range toddlers age range between 18 months and two and a half years so with toddlers they're now extremely mobile they're learning language and so you want to have items in your home or activities in your home that will enable your toddler to continue learning the language uh, continue to enrich their mobility which is gross motor skills so today we're going to look at five key items you need to have in your home that which which will provide meaningful engagements to your toddler children okay so here we go so the first thing we want to look at today are blocks as toddlers you need to provide blocks for them these blocks will enrich their fine motor skills as well as their cognitive skills so they learn how to build things with the blocks and to press the blocks one atop the other in pressing the blocks one atop the other this action enriches the fine motor skills and when they're creating objects, this action enriches the cognitive skills. So you need to have a set of blocks in your home for your children to enrich both their fine motor skills, their cognitive skills, and their language skills as well. Because when they create an, an item or an object, they are able to tell you, to speak to it, and to explain what it is that they have created. As I mentioned in my intro, toddlers are their mobility is uh, improving because they're learning to walk stronger. And so you want to have push pull toys in your home, at least one, where they're able to hold and walk and push or walk and pull. This activity will enrich their mobility skills. So if you have a toddler who's not as strong in their walking, a push-pull toy is extremely important because it will help the child to develop the courage to, to walk uh, stronger. It would also give the child opportunities to exercise the muscles in the legs, which will enable the child to be a much stronger to walker. Number three, you need to have puzzles, board puzzles, for your toddler at home. Now, these puzzles enriches again the fine motor skills because the toddler is going to try to fit the puzzles in each slot. And it's also enriching the cognitive skills because again, the toddler has to determine which of these pieces go in, it, in which slot. So fine motor skills are being enriched, cognitive skills are being enriched, and language skills are also being enriched through this activity because here you get an opportunity to teach the toddler the name of each animal on the, on the board.
did this one? Where should that one go? Huh? Good girl. What about that one? Huh? Fit it in. You can do it. Good girl. Girl. Good girl. Give yourself a clap. Clap your hands. Good girl. Item number four I recommend you having at home are animals. Figurines of animals. Various types of animals. It doesn't matter the type. So you can have sea creatures. You can have animals like farm animals. Animals from the savanna animals from the jungle, animals from all over the world. It is recommended that you have animals. These animals will enrich your child's cognitive skills in identifying the various animals, as well as the language skills in terms of being able to say what animal is what. So animals is Another key items I recommend you have in your home uh, that will enrich the, ch the toddler's uh, development. These animals you can always go to the dollar store or the dollar store equivalent, depending on where in the, in the world you are, the dollar store equivalent, and um, get animal. And um, these animals are very very inexpensive. I got these at the dollar store here in Canada in packs they came in packs of maybe six i think it was six in a pack and six different animals in a pack so you go to the dollar store and you pick up um as much as you can at a time but it is recommended highly recommended that you have uh animal figures in your home for your toddlers and finally as always I highly recommend that you have books, books, and more books for your children. It doesn't matter the age group, it's highly recommended that you have a variety of books uh, for your children in your home so they will learn. Children learn a lot through books and so the language skills are being enriched the cognitive skills are being enriched and the fine motor skills are being enriched. This simple act of turning the pages in the book is a fine motor skill and it's being enriched when the, ch the toddler learns how to properly turn the pages in the book. So, so many skills are being enriched here. As always, with the toddlers, you also need to get the hard, the hard cover and pages books because uh, they too will want to uh, perhaps put the books in their mouth. They are not very gentle with books at this age. They don't know how to be gentle. With the books, you have to teach them how to be gentle. So you, you want the hard page books so that they don't rip the pages out and they don't destroy the books. So, um, in this series, I'm recommending books by Lucy Cousin. She is a fine author, very good. Her books are full of colors, full of life, and, and sparks a child's imagination. I recommend for um, your bookshelf at home, not just for toddlers, uh, this book work with all age groups. All age groups uh, is welcome to en enjoy these uh, Lucy Cousins books. And again, Robert Munch. Again, I can't say enough of Robert Munch. This is an amazing author. And uh, his, his illustrations by Michael, great illustrations, a great book. So for this week, I recommend uh, books again by Robert Munch and by Lucy Cousins. And there we have it. Five essential items or activities you need to have in your home which will enrich your toddler's development skills. 
and like I said I've always maintained you don't have to go out there and buy expensive activities you can go to the dollar store and get activities for a dollar dollar fifty uh, so you don't have to go out and, and go get the most expensive activities but it is essential it is important that you have activities in the home that your children is able to engage with daily so, so that their development all areas of their development are being enriched so as moms and dads with children at home I highly recommend you get these activities or similar activities for your your children at home your toddlers at home so that uh, you can enrich their areas of development thank you guys so very much for joining me today it has been a pleasure journeying with you a thumbs up for this video please thank you a thumbs up and please leave me some comments below if you are interested in me doing more of these videos please let me know i am quite willing and able and capable to share look at the hair <laughs> i'm quite able and willing and capable to share with you um similar videos so please just leave me comments below to let me know if you are interested in me putting out videos like these are you new to my channel thank you so very much for joining me today are you a regular visitor hey you thanks for tuning in how about you guys consider subscribing to my channel though in subscribing and hitting the notification bell as soon as I upload new materials you are first to know and is able to journey with me and my children uh, as we provide for you things that we do in our home thank you guys again for joining us and I will see you in the next video bye 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 see you later bye